Tactics refers to the sense of touch, which could be tactile sense or the force you feel when you touch something. So when someone is operating a robot with our system, they actually feel uh, the effects of what's happening at the remote end of the robot. Okay, so this, this is the submersible robotic uh, test bed here at the Applied Physics Lab, and it's being remotely operated by Dr. Frederick Ryden, who is now uh, actually in a different building in the APL Collaboratory. So basically what we do is that I can use this haptic device, which is like a joystick almost for the computer, and I can use this to control this remote robot that is up in Applied Physics Lab. With Haptic software, you get a full real-time 3D visualization of what's going on. And that means that I can actually uh, see depth as well as color. For me, the Blue Haptics project has been really exciting because as an undergrad, it's a good opportunity for me to work on a real project with real potential applications in, in the field. So this is being used initially by Blue Haptics for underwater operations, for cable connection of communication cables, for oil and gas, for pollution cleanup, potentially for placement of scientific instruments in hazardous or inaccessible areas. Uh, so the, the technology, the research itself is quite mature. We're right now in the process of transitioning it from uh, an academic research project into a product that is ready to be commercialized. Once we saw that there was a business opportunity, and in part because we had been filing patents, uh, that brought us to C4C. And uh, C4C has been very effective both in intellectual property protection and in all kinds of uh, assistance in forming the business. So Frederick talked that he's been working on this technology now for three years. We as a company have been together almost a year. And we took, the other day, we finally signed the agreement to take the option on the technology so we can actually create our company, go out, get funding, hire employees, and take this to market and make a real company out of it. So we actually believe that Blue Haptics now has the potential to create jobs. Because now with our technology, you no longer need a PhD to control a robot. So that means that anyone can control a robot, whether you're not you're a veteran or a laid off worker from a factory. Now you can become a teleoperator. Blue Haptics is developing a new way of doing this that actually provides much more spatial awareness and uh, force feedback cues to the operator to allow them to do things more efficiently in a safer manner uh, than that is currently being done.